Text on screen reading, race, policy, and ethics. Everyone has a racial identity. And for better or worse, whether as laws, principles, or socially acceptable practices, policies and ethics shaped by race guide our everyday lives. Illustration of U.S. map populated by faces of different skin tone, scale of justice tipping to one side, judge pounding gavel, image of blindfolded justice female statue holding scale and sword, signs reading for white passengers, for colored passengers. In the United States, we constantly choose from lists of racial categories to identify ourselves. Video clip of pen marking race designation on form. Racial categorization is a cultural norm and a federal policy. Images of different flyers highlighting African American, American Indian, Asian Pacific, and Asian American people. And black and white image of U.S. Capitol. The United States Office of Management and Budget determines and enforces official racial categories. Different ethnic and racial categories appear on screen. The decennial census is one of the clearest examples of racial categorization collection. Images of a census flyer and questionnaire. Categories shift and expand, but since the first count in 1790, every U.S. census has included racial categories. Archival image of racial categories for 1790, 1850, and 2020 census. Racial categories have determined who you can marry, where you could eat, and where you could go to school. Black and white archival footage of Little Rock 1959 rally at state capitol protesting race mixing, racist sign reading. No dogs, Negroes, Mexicans from the deep south. Black and white archival image depicting children in a segregated district. Since 1860, racial categorization has defined Chinese as a distinct and separate category. Archival image against Chinese immigration. 1920 census showing Chinese as a racial category. In the 1927 case, Lum versus Rice, the Supreme Court upheld this racial segregation policy by ruling that Chinese students in Mississippi could not attend white public schools. Archival image of an all-Chinese school in Mississippi highlighted white text on screen reading, Martha Lum of the Mongolian or yellow race could not insist on being classed with the whites under this constitutional division. 20 years later, a lower court in California ruled that the legal segregation of students of Mexican heritage from white students was unconstitutional. Black and white archival image of Mexican students in segregated school. Children's book cover reading, Separate is Never Equal, Sylvia Mendez and Her Family's Fight for Desegregation, by Duncan Tonatiu. At the time, racial segregation policy defined Mexican as white. In fact, the census did not include a permanent Latino-Hispanic category until 1970. Archival image of 1950 census depicting the racial categories of the time. Neither court ruling dismantled racial segregation. Black and white archival cutouts of black and white school children in separate classrooms. White line appears down the middle. Policies and our understanding of what is right, ethics, have changed and evolved over time. Black and white archival footage of white only signs and colored entrance sign and contemporary footage protest sign reading, end systemic racism now. In the 1954 landmark Supreme Court case, Brown versus Board of Education, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously struck down the segregation of students in public education on the basis of race. Black and white archival image of school boycott and mother and daughter sitting at Supreme Court steps holding up newspaper reading, High Court bans segregation in public schools. This ruling meant that students of all races could legally attend school together. Black and white archival image of black and white schoolgirls attending a desegregated school. Tools like the census and the ways that we use them have changed too. Promotional flyers for the census highlighting different races and ethnicities. For example, racial data from the census helps identify inequities in our public health system. Cut out image of African American doctor holding up sign. Categories of racial identification were created to justify difference. Racist depictions of the types of races of men poster. Yet today, although imperfect, they can also help us measure progress towards racial equality. Black and white archival image of the marchers assembled in front of the Alabama State Capitol. Join the Smithsonian's Our Shared Future, reckoning with our racial past, to better understand what was and create what can be. Website URL typed on screen, homepage appears. Credits in Google Arts and Culture and Smithsonian Our Shared Future, reckoning with our racial past, and Bank of America logo.